introduce you to Brian Hopkins, who's our finance trainer. Absolutely fantastic trainer, he's one of my best trainers on the academy, and he runs a company called CBH Training. So, Brian, tell us about when you started CBH. We started CBH Training uh, eight years ago, in 2002, and it started, my, my background is manufacturing, um, and I was operations director of a company, well two companies for about 15 years prior to starting the business and I've been at director level for quite a lot of years and ran my own business prior to that. But uh, we felt we wanted to start CBH by taking a different approach to training, working a lot with clients and then using the skills that we had, the practical skills that we had, hence a lot of work in the project management and in the finance arena. Great stuff. And what are the areas that you and Carol really focus in on at CBH? We focus heavily on um, project management, financial management and business management are the keys and for that we use things like Sage, Sage Accounts, we work a lot with organisations to help them integrate it with stock control and the financial controls and then from the financial point of view we work with clients helping them understand what finance means, understanding that in businesses no matter how good they are have to make money and then where to make that money. Fantastic. And what kind of customers, what kind of experience have you had in the finance arena and project management arena? Finance arena, um, really it's running organisations, turnovers, 20, 30 million, uh, looking after all the manufacturing, budget control, budgets in excess of 4 or 5 million, um, in fact well over that I guess with the, with the spend, and controlling that, keeping the organisations within um, strict budgetary um, guidelines to ensure profitability. And how does that compare to the customers that we come across every single day that have very little budgets and, and much lower turnovers? There's no difference in what they have to do, they still have to make money. Their only problem is that quite a lot of them unfortunately don't understand the basics to make that happen. And the basics are the same in all industries and once you understand what they are then you start to make money. Great stuff. So what are your top tips for the businesses watching this mm -hmm. interview? What can they take away? Firstly, there's, well there's several. One is that the accountant works for them, not them for the accountant, which means that you question the accountant on all fi figures that they give to you. The second is to understand where the finance is within the business. No matter what the technology, no matter what the, the ideas and, and the understanding that goes into developing the business, you need to understand the finance. No business will succeed without good finance and good financial control. So once they get that in place, then you start to move forward. Um, and that really is the, is the sort of underpinning of the whole thing. Where's the profit? Where's the costs? Watch the overheads and understand where they all fit within the grand scheme of things. And what's your attitude to stock? I know um, mm. one of our recent Academy delegates has uh, had a bit of a revelation when it came to stock. Stock basically is cash. If you've got money in stock, you have a double whammy. One, it's consuming your cash, and two, it can deteriorate. Stock is a loss. It's not uh, an asset to the business, although it's shown on the balance sheet as an asset. Potentially, stock is never worth the value that you've paid for it. So keep stock to a minimum, and the, clever, the cleverness in, in doing the whole process is to keep stock to a minimum and customers satisfied. And it's a really strange thing, but my experience has shown that companies with high stock quite often have stock outs. They lose stock because there's so much mass in the stock itself, they miss the small things which stop the product being delivered. Mm. So, uh, there's a lot of areas there. Stock is a, is a primary area for control. Fantastic. Okay. Well, thank you for the top tips. We're going to move on to our Academy questionnaire and really get your mind going. So.